Good evening and welcome to Dark Hour Paranormal. Folks, tonight I wanted to bring to light something that's very familiar to all of us. Now you may have one in your town, in your state, in your city, and certainly in every country throughout the globe. We find graveyards, a place of rest for our loved ones. Now, it does perplex me to know that there is in certain cases some kind of energy that still exists here. One of the theories of graveyards even having this sort of reputation dates back to the 17 and 1800s wherein they unfortunately would oftentimes bury people alive and in trying to escape this fate you'd hear screams coming from the graveyard. Too many times a body was exhumed for one reason or another only for the excavators to find fingernail marks on the inside of the casket, a clear sign of struggle. There were instances of people digging themselves out just far enough to protrude through the topsoil with a limp hand extended. Taberger invented a device known as a safety coffin, wherein the living who were unintentionally buried alive could ring a bell and signal for help. So many times we've visited graveyards with the intention of finding something paranormal. My bigger question is, why a graveyard? Yes, there are many bodies interred, loved ones from times past, but as a spirit, why would you choose to hang around the place where your physical remains lay? To me, it just doesn't make sense. Now, I will say that there is a theory that perhaps the spirit hasn't let go of that physical form and in that sense, they're finding peace being with the body in some way, shape, or form. To me, this is more of a loose explanation as to why perhaps some of these spirits still exist in these areas. I think that there must be something else that holds them back. But then we come in the way of choice. Again, what choice do we have as soon as we pass on? Now, of course, you always want to have the utmost respect when coming into a space like this. If not for those who are deceased, for the ones still living. This is a very sacred spot, as all graveyards are. And of course, when you talk about the collection of energy sitting in the ground in the way of our bodies, there might be some science behind that that we just can't measure yet. Now, while there's always some sort of intrinsic sense of fear when looking at the unknown, many times I've looked into these spaces and felt some sort of hollowness within myself. It's very strange as I walked by this mausoleum, knowing that only feet away was where all of those broken headstones laid, that I was getting something in the way of pure electrified energy. Could it be the construct or possibly the bodies that are interred? Right here my camera goes haywire and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. I'm standing on the grounds of the Gillette Castle, which was built many years ago by William Hooker Gillette. Uh, he's best known for his role as Sherlock Holmes. Just another anomaly we have here in Connecticut on our way traversing through the graveyards. We have a medieval castle right on the waterfront. architecture is unquestionably majestic. To find something in the way of paranormal activity here might be a little bit difficult. I did some digging and unfortunately, at least in the way of our programming, there's nothing to be found here, which 
might mean one thing. All the memories and experiences that have been here on these grounds may have been something more in the way of elation and joy. When looking at such an enormous and beautifully crafted building such as this castle, one automatically goes towards something more nefarious in the way of medieval architecture. Again, as I mentioned, this particular location has nothing in the way of haunted history, whether it be negative or more benign. Well, when we first arrived at the cemetery, I didn't have any initial feelings about it. Um, but then I spied this corner and I was immediately drawn to this enclosure. And as I came upon the enclosure, you started to feel, well, I started to feel some tingling. I got goosebumps, the chills. And the interesting part about the enclosure really is that it is holding broken stones. Um, and just kind of wondering how the spirits feel about that. And maybe that's why we have such an intense feeling over here. It is also interesting to note that it feels very quiet and still. Yes, we can hear bugs and stuff in the background, but that is coming from the other end of the cemetery. Here's the original footage of my sister Allison having the experience that she describes. Now, now the reason why I'm drawn to this is because this is, enclosure is housing broken stones. So thinking of the energy behind possibly the discomfort of the spirits of the stone. Hmm, I feel really weird, weird standing right here. Uh, I feel really weird. If you take a deep breath, that's when you get more of the, the chills coming out. Feel the energy. Many years ago, heavily do ghost hunting, investigating the paranormal. There were many spots that I visited, but I do have to say out of the two negative entities that did end up following me home, one of them was from a graveyard. Right out here in Douglas, Massachusetts, we had this graveyard that allegedly housed the grave of one of the last women to undergo the witch trials. Graveyards will undoubtedly always be a part of our cultures, no matter where you're from or who you are. What type of energy these places may encompass is yet to be determined, but it is certainly experienced and felt by many people who either are in this particular location or exist in the realms outside of it. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time on Dark Hour Paranormal.